delivery driver for Lowe's. And then I got a phone call on the phone telling me to bring the delivery back, saying that I couldn't do the delivery. He says what he was told next shocked him. I asked him why I couldn't do it, and he said because you're black and they don't want you at the house. Bradley says he was told the customer specifically asked Lowe's not to send a black delivery person. Alex Brooks says he's worked with Bradley for nearly 11 years and that he was with him in the truck when the call came in. To me, you know, that it just ain't right for a business that we work at to uh, go on with the woman's wishes. But Brooks says that's exactly what happened. He says when the two returned to the store, Bradley was replaced by a white driver. It was one of those things that all oh, these guys will get over it. They're tough guys, you know, they delivery guys. And uh, that's kind of where I just had to put my foot down and say I couldn't do it with them. We went to the home where the two say the delivery took place. Well, I just want to know your side of the story, if it's true or not. I got a right to have what I want, and that's it. Do you feel bad about the delivery driver? No, I don't feel bad about nothing. I mean, I thought that Lowe's would take up for me. Although Bradley is saddened by the way he says the situation was handled, he still plans to be at work tomorrow. I mean, I got to work. I'm going to keep going to work every day like I've always done. Yeah. But I, I would think that Lowe's would take it into consideration to think about what they're doing next time.